How's it going you guys? Gabriel Ryder here and today's video we are in a fairway bunker. That's right, the cat lid of the beach, the sandbox, whatever you want to call it, we're in it and we need to make sure we are prepared when we get into a situation like this. Now my dad once told me, he said, Gabe, proper preparation prevents poor performance. Now, my dad actually never said that to me, but that would have been a pretty good thing for a dad to say, am I right? Well, of course I'm right, I'm always right. But then again, I've been wrong, which makes me right about me being wrong, which makes me right again. <laughs> Funny how that works out. So without further ado, you guys, I'm gonna give you guys my five fundamentals, my under three, four, cinco, cinco fundamentals for getting this ball out of the bunker, clean contact, and up and around the grizzine. Okay, you guys, so the first thing that I like to do when I get into a bunker, the first fundamental I like to instill is putting the ball back in my stance. Now, when we start moving the ball position in relation, let's say, to the center of our body, we start moving it up or we start moving it back. It will help determine the contact we make. Now, if I want a short-sided bunker shot and I need to get this ball on the green a very short distance, I'll move it up so I'll promote hitting behind the ball, hitting sand, and not blading it, which would be very bad for a green side bunker shot. But because we're in a fairway bunker shot, I want to promote ball first, good contact. So I like to move the ball either half a ball back or a full ball back from where I normally play a seven iron, which is the club I have here. So if I play a normal seven iron right here in my stance, then I like to move it either half a ball or a full ball back in my stance, let's say about right there. So then the second fundamental I like to do is dig my feet in. When I dig my feet into the sand, I go down to the base where it's a little firmer and it's gonna be a little easier for me to get more traction and less harder for me to slip. If I'm doing any type of slipping in the sand, it's gonna take the percentages down of good contact that could hit it heavy and have it only go 40 yards. So first, put it back in your stance, dig your feet in, get to that firmer base where it's gonna give you some more traction stability. Now, third thing we have to do is choke up. Because now that we've dug our feet into the ground, we have become lower and now we need to counterbalance that or counteract that by choking up on the club as much as we have dug our feet in. So if I dug my feet in maybe half an inch, an inch, then I will choke up accordingly. Now the fourth thing that I like to do is a more of a swing thought and my swing thought is to stay tall. So what I like to do is imagine that there's something touching my head at address and I want to keep this imaginary thing touching my head throughout the whole swing. Because what I'm trying to promote is staying tall. If I start doing any type of dipping, I'm gonna start lowering my bottom of my arc and it's gonna be easier for me to hit it heavy. So my fourth key thought is to stay tall, kinda of keep something touching my head so I can swing level throughout the whole swing. Okay, so fundamental number five is swing easy. Uh, unless it's a very far bunker shot, you want to make sure you're swinging in control. Anytime we start over swinging in the bunker, our feet could slip just that little, throw us off, and we make poor contact. I think the most important part of a fairway bunker shot is to make good contact, at least put us somewhere level around the green where we can have that birdie putt or an easy up and down for par. So those five fundamentals are one, put it back in your stance, two, dig your feet in, three, choke up, four, stay tall, and five, swing easy. These are just guidelines, people. Knowing isn't enough, we gotta do, we gotta go out there, try to find a bunker to practice in, and figure out what works for you. All right, you guys, so if you put all those five things together, it should a little look a little something like this. Remember, back in your stance, dig your feet in, choke up, stay tall, and swing easy. Yep, and hit that one pretty good. So thanks for watching, you guys. Gabriel Ryder here. Let me know if you guys have any tips to hit fairway bunker shots. I'm always looking to learn. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, you guys, Instagram. Links are all down in the description. So check out the links below, and hopefully we can help each other out. This is Gabriel Ryder saying thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.